I'm currently busy with my new and hopefully last workbench and I bought a Felder FAT 300S, a height adjustable workbench. I made a new top so it will become a kick-ass workbench. And I made the workbench top with dog holes and used the UJK pop guide system to create a grid of holes. So I wanted to make a short video about this system. Hi, my name is Dennis and I am from Hooked on Wood. And I wanted to make this video because I made several workbenches in the past two years with this system and I became especially enthusiastic about the MK2 version of this system. So I want to tell you about my experience and if you should consider such a system yourself because it's by no means cheap. And I like to work with dog holes in my workbench top and as the top of my workbench assembly table. And I prefer it over a micro jig surface. And do not get me wrong, I like the principle of micro jig roofs and I think it's ideal for making flexible templates to line up my work. But the complete microjig ecosystem is very beneficial in numerous ways. That said, as a workbench top, I prefer my workbench surface to be cleaner. When you have dog holes, you will not have a problem when you slide a workpiece on it. But with grooves, there is a chance it sticks behind these grooves. And things like screws do fall in these grooves too easily and are difficult to get out again. And your vacuum hose and electrical cables stick behind these grooves, which is very annoying. So I like dog holes instead. And the number of accessories available for these dog holes makes dog holes so beneficial. And I plan to make a video about these different accessories soon. And I have various accessories from different brands. And I hope to get more so it will be an exciting video. But the dog holes are your starting point. And as I said before, I use the UEK Path Guide System. And if it is essential to have a highly accurate grid of dog holes, I will tell you later. But now I want to zoom in on this system. I used the second generation or MK2 version of the Path Guide system. But I also had the first generation, which is still available, although they also improved this first generation a lot. So I will also inform you about the differences. The MK2 version improves a lot compared to the original version. And although I was able to make a grid of accurate dog holes with the first generation as well, all these upgrades make sense and practice and increase the chance ending up with a precise grid of dog holes. And I'm very impressed with how far they went to ensure the most accurate grid of dog holes with this MK2 version. And I can really appreciate the level of engineering they put into this. But this uh, comes at a price. The MK2 version of this UEK Power Guide system costs 250 euros. And besides, Sorry for the short interruption, but I have a new site that I want to show you. This one is more informative and better organized by topic, and the videos and downloads are more findable. So please visit www.hoogtonwood.online. Besides the question of whether you should make such an investment, let's see what they have done to make the grid of dog holes as close to CNC as possible. The two rulers you need to make a grid layout are decent, and the holes are perfectly accurate. And first we make some small holes that we will later enlarge to 20 millimeters. And to secure that we drill these holes perfectly straight, there is a bushing to guide the drill bit. And the bushing has a small piece at the underside that fits precisely in the room, so there is no play. And look at this bushing. This is a very nice and strong piece. And you see it does not guide the drill bit itself, but it guides this piece of the drill bit. And this fits exactly without any play not only ensures this a perfectly straight hole, but it will last longer because the drill bit does not come in contact with the bushing. And when you compare this to a regular bushing, how much more advanced is this? You must connect the two rulers to get a perfectly square grid. And I will not dive too deep into how to set up the system because it comes delivered with a complete guide to lead you through this process. And to ensure a straight hole at the point where the two rulers lay on top of each other, they added uh, another bushing with a longer piece at the underside so the two rulers remain stable and would not shift while drilling. And there are ways to work around this which would save an extra bushing but they opted for an extra bushing instead because this is the most convenient way which is a brave choice. And the pins to secure the rulers also fit perfectly without any play. 
When we pre-drilled all the holes, we are ready to drill the 20 mm holes. And when we look close at uh, the included forstner bit, we see it is designed a bit differently than regular forstner bits. The tip is a bit larger, so it fits the pre-drilled hole better. But also the knives are a bit higher to create a cleaner hole. It is above average in terms of sharpness and ease of drilling. Although I found my fish for a bit slightly better in drilling. But when it comes to accuracy, the UEK drill bit is spot on and more accurate than the fish force bit. And we use this bridge to guide the drill bit to ensure we drill the holes at the exact point. And although this bridge looks the same as the original version, they improve the guide for the drill bit for more durability and tighter fit. And again, the Forstner bit fits perfectly. We can secure the bridge in two different ways. One way is with these small pins that tie in the pre-drilled holes. And the second way is with two bench dogs that fit in the dog holes. And I prefer the bench dogs for ease of use, but I found the small pins a bit more secure. So I try to use the pins as long as possible, but you have to continue with the bench dogs at a certain moment. And finally, the integrated the dust extraction port you can connect to the bridge. And it makes working with the path guide system free of uh, dust and because of this healthy. And I had the original edition before, which is close to the MK1 version, although they improved this one on most points. And the difference between the two versions is that the MK2 version has uh, the advantage guide bushing. And because you need them a lot, this is a practical advantage over the simpler version. But it also includes a sophisticated drill bit with extension piece that fits perfectly in the bushy. They included this piece to connect the two rulers when necessary, which works more uh, securely than the pin you have to use with the MK1 version. And finally, the rulers are a bit different, but I cannot find if one is better. The more affordable version costs 190 euros, and the MK2 version adds 60 dollars to this price. So I found it difficult to question whether these two more advanced bushings are worth the extra expense. And it's more effortless to work with these bushings because it's more extensive and therefore easier to use. And it increased the system's accuracy by eliminating human errors a bit more. And I must say what makes me so enthusiastic about this MK2 version is how far they stretch the product to make it as good as possible. And I like that philosophy. And I have to say that I have this with most UEK products I have. Most of them are very well engineered and are very high quality. So although they did all possible to ensure an as accurate grid of dog holes as possible, this does not uh, guarantee the grid is 100% accurate. There are still some possibilities for human errors that can affect the accuracy. So you need to work with patients and follow the manual steps. And then it is possible to create a near CNC accurate grid of dog holes. And that leaves us with the question whether spending this amount of money to drill some holes in your workbench is a good investment. And in short, when you use uh, a workbench with your plunge saw, I think investing in an accurate grid of holes is beneficial. It makes it easy to create accurate 90 and 45 degree cuts, and the accessories needed for this can also be used for other purposes. And aligning work pieces with a precise grid is so lovely to work with. So this way, you'll make the most of your workbench stuff. And without accuracy, this will not work. So yes, in this case, spending that money seems to me like a good investment. And you can also make cuts with your track saw without dog holes, but then you need something like a real guide square, which of course also costs money. And you can only use them for that specific use. By the way, if you are looking for a very affordable real square, I review this Fonsa square and this extension kit, which I highly recommend. And I will leave a link in the description. When you have an MFT table with regular MBF that you plan to change often, this path guide system is also a good investment because the typical smaller top of these workbenches is easy and fast to make. I do have a table saw. I do not use my plinth saw that often and I plan to use my workbench top as long as possible. But I still like to have that accurate grid of dog holes. But I must be honest that for 70% of my use, it does not have to be 100% accurate because most accessories do not require a precise grid of dog holes. But I want to have that reference when I am creating a workbench top. And from all the machines and tools I have, 
my workbench is the tool I use the most. So investing that extra money to make it as multifunctional as possible is worth it for me. Well, that was a short video about this UEK Park Guide system. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and well, we see each other next time.